Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, Yoruba actress Yabo Ojo files a lawsuit against her colleague Yomi Fabi and demands 100 million naira in damages. Yomi also responded. Yabo Ojo's lawsuit read, Demand for retraction of defamatory publication against Miss Alice Yabo Ojo, public apology and payment of damages for offensive and vexatious statements made by you, and reaction notice and compliance with the High Court of Legal State practice direction of pre-action protocol. Introduction, we had retained solicitors to Miss Alice Yabojo, airing after referred to as our client, on whose instructions and behalf the instant correspondence is undertaken. Be right in respect to your defamatory publications, with particular reference to a series of unwarranted, unprovoked and unjustified vituperations and unfounded allegations by you as contained in the placards bearing the name of our client. The mind-blogging allegations are not only imaginary, false, and fallacious, but mischievous and deliberately calculated to ridicule our client. This is the malicious and defamatory publication against Ms. Alice Yabojo. Our client reliably informed us that she spearheaded the protest today, the 12th day of May 2021, wherein you made several accusations amongst which were defamatory publications on placards with the following inscriptions to it. Nigerian police, Please allow the law to dictate to you, not Yabo Ujo, Princess and Co. Please release Baba Jesha. Yabo Ujo and Princess promise to kill Baba Jesha if released on bill. In this era, we are aware that this defamatory publication was viewed by a large number of people through your live broadcast on your Instagram handle at Real Yomi Fabi, where unfounded allegations, disparaging comments, and life threatening remarks were made at our client. This is Miss Ali Yabojo's position and denial. Take notice that our client is a reputable professional in the entertainment industry and also the executive director of Pinky's Foundation, a registered non-governmental organization saddled with responsibility to empower ladies and children and promote social values amongst the youths and emerging generations. It is also instructive to hard hear that our client is a mother of beautiful children and a businesswoman with interest in several sectors of Nigeria's economy, and a well-respected social media influencer with massive followership on Instagram, not limited to the fact that our client is a public affairs analyst whose opinions on the welfare of children, women, and entertainment are sourced by seasoned media outlets. Our client, therefore, specifically deny making such statements to kill Mr. Olari Wajomi Inka alias Baba Ajesha not to unlawfully interfere with statutory responsibilities of the Nigeria Police Force. For the sake of clarity, be mindful that it is within our client's sacred constitutional human rights to express their feelings, opinions, and views on the raging issues bordering on the criminal complaints leveled against Mr. Lara Jomeika, alias Baba Jesha. This is implication of a defamatory publication. Take further notice that Consequent upon your false, odious, malicious, vexatious, and ludicrous statements and defamatory publication against our clients, which were broadcasted through your Instagram handle, viewed by a huge number of people, and further published by several online blogs and newspaper outlets stemming from your orchestrated scheme that have so far damaged our clients' hard earned reputation, vilify our integrity, rubbish our professional career as a businesswoman entertainer and artist and more so cause our clients children give us trauma and anxiety since the publication of your defamatory statements. More importantly, predicated on your baseless allegations as contained in the widely circulated defamatory publications of yours, several family members, business associates, clients, friends, colleagues and fans have bombarded our clients with inquiries on the propriety of the unfortunate blackmail and defamatory action by you. More poignantly is the fact that Numerous online media outlets such as Goldman, Instablog, Linda Keiji, Punch Newspapers, among others, have published this defamatory publication and slanderous statements wherein other contemptuous comments and deprecatory remarks were made against our clients on the basis of your denigratory and malicious accusations. It is expedient to state that your defamatory publication has lowered our clients' estimation in the eyes of of right-thinking members of the society. Our client has equally suffered huge stigmatization by business partners, mental agony, restlessness, public scorn, emotional distress, professional indignation, intense psychological trauma, vilification, and financial losses by sudden withdrawal of business patronage by clients and customers. This is the demand for immediate retraction, 
public apology and damages on the express and unequivocal instruction of our client. We demand for the following two suits. Number one, that you cease and desist from making further additional or fresh defamatory publications against our clients on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on any other social media, social messaging blog, and slash print media outlets. Number two, a full retraction of the said defamatory publication by you on your Instagram handle and status, which should be published for seven consecutive days, begging from the date of the first publication, which you must specifically acknowledge that your allegations are false, misleading, and entirely defamatory of our client's character. Number three, your retraction and public apology must further be circulated and published by other media outlets, namely Instablog, Goldmine, Lida KG, and Punch newspapers. Number four, 100 million naira as damages for the unjustifiable injury and losses occasioned by our client caused by your defamatory publication. This is the conclusion. Take final notice that you have to fully comply with your client's demand within 14 days from the date of service of this notice, either in person or through any of your social media platform. More particularly, your Instagram handle at realyomifabi. And should you feel neglect and refuse to comply with our client's firm demands, we have our client's resolute instruction to initiate legal precedence against you without delay. We trust you to appreciate the death consequences inherent in your default to strictly adhere to our client's demands, whilst assuring you of the esteem of our professional regards. Please, yours faithfully, signed, the Maverick Forte Legal. Ulufimi Lola, I Salami. And Yomi Fabi also took to his official social media platform to respond to this lawsuit. And he says that, Ignore any unnecessary civil suits attached to my name. I don't dignify everybody with a response, not even a non-criminal suit that lacks merit and grounds. I don't have time to waste, while I, Your lawyer will never tell you how many months, funds and process involved in civil suits. Anyway, anybody drowning will cling on anything to survive. Save your money for feed and TikTok costumes. Don't let any lawyer eat your money, Yawomi. You deserve better, dear. Time still day to make a detour and save your face. I don't deal in social media court. Enjoy the funny moments. Oko Yabo movie location loading. Hashtag Oko Yabo. Oko Yabo the movie. Yomi Fabi Rock Life Studio. So this was Yomi Fabi's response to Iyabo Ojo's lawsuit. Since the beginning of this case, there has been back and forth between Iyabo Ojo and Yomi Fabi and of course name Colin. We have come to the end of this episode. <coughs> We have come to the end of this episode where you back just Yabojo files lawsuit against her colleague Yomi Fabi and demands 100 million in damages and Yomi Fabi also responds. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.